Good morning, everybody. It's Lola. So, today, the energy isn't so up there because I kind of woke up a bit late today. Um, I'm on body no be firewood. Sometimes you just need to rest. Anyways, um, down to the topic of today. I think a lot of people carry a lot of pain in their heart, especially when it comes to their family. I realized this with the talk I had yesterday. Look, the only person that can determine your happiness is you. Nobody else. Yes, I understand it hurts when you think you're supposed to have family members who are meant to be there for you, who are meant to have your back and they don't have your back and you start feeling some sort of way. But listen, your family doesn't have to be family because you're related by blood. I've got a lot of people in my life that I don't consider them friends. I consider them family because of the things they're willing and ready to do for me. And I really appreciate that about them because in no way, if I had sat down and expected certain things to happen, would they have happened if those people were not in my life? For anybody listening to me this morning, for anybody who, who has some form of pain or some form of hurt or hurtful thoughts when they're thinking of their family, don't. Don't. It's not worth it. Because whether you like it or not, even the Bible says, and even if there's nobody to clap for him, he will raise up stones. God will obviously raise up people for you. People, people will come and find their way into your lives because God expects you not to be an island. You've got to have people there with you. People who are going to uplift you. People who are going to pray with you. People who are going to laugh and love with you. It's a very personal subject for me and I just thought maybe to just share this little one with you this morning. The dynamics of family are not things we can actually sit down and discuss in a day or two years. It's ever changing, it's always changing. But the one thing I want you to remember, no matter how much your family changes, it might not necessarily be them, it might be you. So, remember, you're loved, you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're beautifully, wonderfully made in his image and in his likeness. This is Lola saying have a wonderful day.